Hi all, we're, we're back. The, uh, the farm area we were just at behind us there. Uh, it spawned me right here when I came back in. And I'm actually curious what this little place just to our, our east here is. So I'm gonna take a look. Also, I think I'm gonna uh, go ahead and not talk near as much as last time. I think uh, that'd be for the best a little bit. I'll add commentary when needed, but for the most part, I think we'll just uh, play the game. Oop, missed him. that. Uh, notes? Savage Divide Treasure Map. I know where that's at, so... Up on that rock there on the bottom right. You see that X? Okay. It's actually down... Where was that at? It was down here somewhere, right? Right here. So There's got to be somewhere on these mountains here. Gunshots, huh? Probably come from there or there. Alright, well. Let's take what we can. first uh, chest piece here. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, eat another stem pack real quick. And by eat, I mean inject, of course, but, you know. Scrap here, too. Assume we can cook some mongrel meat now. That'll be helpful here. We can make pumpkin soup? Ooh. That's hella condition on it. That's always good. Um, we take our boiled water, though. Hmm. See. Max AP, AP, max AP, personality. Or perception, sorry. But every time I see PER, it's like personality. I don't know why. Um. I want to save the pumpkins. Let's, uh... Do the tarberry, too. Eh, see what else we can make. Okay. Just making one boiled soup, uh, pumpkin soup wouldn't hurt, so go into that. All right. Someone's a tanner here, huh? Untitled poem. I've never been good at reading poems, so I'll just go ahead and leave that there. Alright, let's continue southward. Although, in all honesty, since we just came back in, we could go back to the lumber mill and the, uh, the other place there. A the little farm. And, uh... 
you know, kill all the things there again and loot all the things again. But I don't really feel like doing that right now. Maybe if we weren't recording and it was just me doing it for the heck of doing it, you know, I would consider it. But actually, we never checked out inside the trailer, did we? Okay. I guess we're going back in. There's nothing here. Fuck. Where's that fucker at? Right there? Yeah. Go ahead and just walk away. No sense fighting him at the moment. I don't like that jumping takes your AP down. That is... Not nice, I don't like it. Box. Okay. that. A water sensor. Maybe it has to do with the overseer. The camp is nearby. How's the map looking? Two guys are up there. I'm at level five, so I don't have to worry about them anyway right now, so. I'll be just fine. Perfect stash. Overseer's log, south of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but mutated animals, haywire bosses, no people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in what I can confirm is hostile territory. Fortunately. Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer, signing off. Same as leg armor. Hmm. Excellent. I make my monocle. Room glasses. Well, I knew you well. Indeed. All right. Now we got to go down there. So we're going to a small town. Okay. There seems to be a radio bunker there, where Gangi is at. Hmm. Okay. Well, 
We can transfer all of our junk here. That way, if we do get killed by a player, we don't drop it. Or if we just die, we don't drop it. That'll be fine. What else we got here? Let's throw our frag grenade. Hmm. I'll keep most of this on me, but, uh... Let's get rid of the glowing fungus. Oop. I'm gonna get rid of the brews here. I can sell those later. I don't plan on using them. Got some pumpkins. Already starting to deteriorate. That's an actual beer. I thought it was a beer bottle. Never mind. Okay. Oh, those flowers about to turn rotten. I'll keep them in my inventory. I can just toss them later. Get that tar berry and these potatoes. Throw that tick blood too, I guess. Get rid of this gunpowder. These don't weigh anything, so I'll just keep them for now. I already gotta read these. Excellent. These don't weigh anything, so we'll keep them. Ammo. Alright, I'll store my fusion cells. I don't have any of that anyway. I got 308s. Do I have 35s? I think 35s are the, uh... I don't know. I'll keep all this for now. Okay. Um, can I... I didn't want to craft. I'm going to, uh... <clears throat> Scrap things. Black rim glasses. Black rim glasses. My God, I cannot talk. Okay, just want to make sure there's nothing else I can scrap there. All right. Okay, we're down to 55 pounds. We can carry 100. All right. I guess we'll just fall down the road. What the hell? Is that a supply drop or something? I know there's supply drops, but they were uh, over. Here, the last I knew. Some protectrons up there, huh? A lot of players down there. We'll do this. One down. Two more to go, and then an iBot. Okay, whatever. There's that I bought. Damn. Fuck, I missed it. There we go. Thought we can pick up some lead and stuff in their bodies here now. Right, there's cargo planes that fly around. Cool cube. All right, well. A Mr. Farmhand, huh? Is that a is that a camp in the middle of the road right there? It might be. Um, we need to get some food and water in our right here. Hold on a moment. I think we've got some purified water. Yeah. The pumpkin soup also gives us water, so let's drink that first since it expires. Um, boiled vegetables. We'll go ahead and just drop those. I will drop these too since uh, they're going to spoil in a moment anyway. Alright. There we go. Fed and watered now. There's a camp. Who's got it down here? Uh, 
Interesting. Locked and loaded. Oh. Hey, frog. Uranium ore. Oh, hey, dogs. We got some iron. Yo. Level am I? I think I leveled up here, right? Let's grab some perception. I'd like to see if we can get a. Uh... Mm. Nope, we don't have an option for lock picking yet. Let's see. Carrying around two handed weapons. Let's look at the. Uh... The various different options we have here. Let's get action points. Actually, no. No, no. I don't want that. This one will work. I'd really like to uh, get some perk packs. That'd be nice. I can kind of fill out my uh, my perks a little more here. Okay. Definitely moving into some territory with players. So let's uh, get radio silent here. doesn't seem to have much. Ooh, I think I see stuff down there. That was an explosion. Looks like a uh, <clears throat> church of some sort down there. Hello, Brahmin. Latwood, huh? Got anything on you? Oh. Is this thing on? Great. Hello, survivors of this garbage dump. I'm Sophie, and this is my stupid survivor story. Maybe. It's one of those farmers who prepared for the end times. 
some sort of religious thing. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, no, I, I got it. I was a sweet little kid and lived off some cat food containers in a super duper mart for months near my parents' rotting carcasses. Nobody came. Nobody. I learned how to deal. You should too. The responders are a joke. Nobody helps anybody anymore. Get a grip. If you're not a total idiot, you'll get out of this dump before the responders get you killed. Leave the sick behind. We're better off. Trust me. Whiny babies can stay here and play make-believe, but anyone with half a brain will go up to the mountains and drop the dead weight. Delbert already tried to stop me. Sorry to say nobody will be around to teach you how to eat shit now, Flatwoods. Bye, suckers. Love always, Sophie. Okay. Let's grab this then. Overseer's log, town of Flatwoods. My God, there's no one here. The old tavern, the church, the people were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected, but there's something else—a disease. I was attacked by. Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions, and its voice. Angry, tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's different than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The risk. Oh, hi. Dasa asked me if I would talk about uh, how I got here. She asked everybody, so I, I said okay. My, name, my name's Colonel, and I'm 13 years old. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and the rest of people, the cows with two heads, all of it. I was bad. Bad. I, I cheated on my spelling test. I, I kicked Chip Wilkins in the shins until he cried. I pushed Rosie McCloy down the stairs. Um, I, I cut holes in the bottom of all the gym shorts and I put glue in the mashed potatoes in the cafeteria. I told Harold Newell to eat 10 dead flies a day in order to grow muscles and I put Nuka Cola in the rat cage water bottles at the pet store. And um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about everything. My dad said if I wasn't this way, the bad things wouldn't happen. I haven't seen daddy since the bombs, and I guess he left because of that, too. It's okay. I'm, I'm trying to be good now, though. I'm, I'm not old enough to be a volunteer, but Dasa said I could help collect food and water, so I'm getting better, I promise. And. Daddy, if you're listening, I, I promise I won't be bad anymore, so you can come back now. Okay. Okay. Bye. Three water and wood for that, okay. Alright, what's this diagnostic terminal then? Stand back for just 
Hmm. Register the silverware kiosk, huh? Before we do that, uh, we have that tape to listen to. We have this terminal to look at, so let's go ahead and do that. I don't know, do we have anything else in here? Nope. Okay, good. Don't know how those boxes have not caught on fire, but whatever. Oh god. Yeah, fuck all that. We call it the Great War now. It's not been long. Been rough. Welcome to Survivor Stories. I'm Dasa Ben Ami, a responder. I've been working with the responders for a couple of years now. I'm from Charleston originally, so it was easy to join up. What wasn't easy was the work. Rebuilding Appalachia from the rubble while survivors flock to us regularly from all over. So many have come and gone. Their stories untold, their names lost to time. I thought we should preserve this history somehow. I've decided to ask people to record their thoughts, their stories, anything they want to preserve forever. I'll call this series the Survivor hey, Stories. Violet I'll start here. with me. I was an anthropology PhD student Bob at Vault Tech University. Final year. I was printing my thesis when I heard the sirens. I thought for sure my father, a Vault Tech employee, could take us all with him, but. Only two reservations came through. I refused to go. With my little brother, he went to the vault. They could not persuade me, though they tried. In the end, I pushed them inside it, and that was it. After that, I, I went back home to Charleston and, well, survived. Eventually, the responders formed, and I, I signed up right away. Hard. The flood it was devastating. Relocating to Morgantown Airport and now Flatwoods has been. I, I remain optimistic. Been with them now for, uh, oh, I guess two years. We have big plans. We can do so much to help. Maybe. Just maybe. We're build enough to be okay. And in the meantime, I will continue to record stories of survivors when I can. We are your history. This is Dasa Ben Ami, signing off for now. The fuck is with all the goddamn live drops down there? Not complaining, lose loot, but goddamn. Check out these tents so we can go uh, sign up to be a responder. <clears throat> that was a bit of a <laughs> glitchy glitch weird thing there, huh? Threw me off. Ooh, a holotape. I hate flowers. Play. Oh, 
crawl beds, big as a barn door across the mountains and worse. Now, the woods had better days. Now I can thank Caddy for the kill you. Nah. I ain't no lady. But damn if God had just let a bomb fall on my head. Jesus, just let me die. Leonard's here, born and raised in this very town. Met my own church to the responders for their outpost here, and uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see, helping folks through thick and thin until the heavens open up again and take us all up, anyways. When this all happened, I figured, like most, it was time. This was the end, but, but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake that we was missed, forgot. Maybe we did some wrong. Didn't give enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked him, I asked how, why? I fought your wars on Earth. I'm ready to fight them up there by your side. Then, in my despair, I saw some survivors eating raw rat carcass behind a dumpster. You ought to cook that first, I warned them. It seemed obvious. We tried, but got sick, they said, covered in their own filth. I realized right then. From then on, I built kitchens. Cooked good food, fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly, and I was thankful for my task in life. Thankful. <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stoop, I'll be swept clear away with it. But till then, let's share a home cooked meal together, all right? Is that? I don't know if people aren't talking or they don't have mics or what, but I guess I'll just turn my stuff off. What a mode feature unlocked. Excellent. Okay. Report to Kesha for more information. Okay. Can I search for her in the system here? Uh, Kesha, 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 Kesha. Monitoring Flatwoods, huh? Sneeze, excuse me there. Equipment can I'm gonna sell the stuff I don't need to this guy here. Required. Here, does he not have any caps? Huh, that sucks. I guess I'll buy some stuff from him so I can uh, sell some stuff to him. 
Awesome opossum bacon. Fucking weird. Bowie knife. Equipment contaminated. Assistance required. Mm. You have any recipes, my dude? A paddle ball string? Equipment oh, you do have some. Assistant Too bad it's all required. fucking expensive as shit. Never mind, I'll just take my business elsewhere. Is there a, uh, there was, no, there's some, like, workbenches around, right? Anyway, do these quests here. Quests here. Jesus Christ. Darcy has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. It seems like a fine idea. So, hi, I am Kesha When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka. Coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from Watoka to Flatwoods, it was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. I can't tell you how happy I was to Damn find it. the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> we were safe. They had a problem, though. Their water sources were contaminated heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. The world is getting better, but... Slowly. We need to make sure it doesn't relapse, too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Well, time, care. And science! Father Dasa gave me some supplies in exchange for my survival story. So, hi. My name is Scott Shepard. Things are going all right. I was a nurse before the war, and I guess nothing much has changed. I just work on the response now. I don't get paid. Nothing. The government is basically the same now as it was years ago. Wrecked. Disorganized. Cannot be trusted. Everyone knows this. You are the one who actually happened. Hey, you think I'm joking? Listen. The right before everything went to hell, I saw him. I was grilling hamburgers out in the yard with a dog, and I heard rustling from the bushes and a zapping noise. Next thing I know, I'm right here and I felt myself falling to the ground. I didn't even have a lot to drink. I woke up and I saw some little thing run into the bushes with a dog following it. And I knew something was wrong. I found my dog later with a clump of green skin in his mouth. Green! Like moss or something. The bombs fell almost ten days later. Nine days, nineteen hours to be exact. That's two hundred and thirty-five hours precisely. You know what that is, right? That's right. The 
atomic number of the FISO isotope of uranium. They had a plan from the very beginning. Why would they come after me first? Scott Shepard, the nurse. They have our blood. They knew which ones of us would survive. This is one big experiment to them. This whole thing was staged. Our lives, our thoughts, everything was designed for us. Just like yeah, this, this guy's clearly crazy. Every word I'm saying. Yeah, those water samples. Time to wake up, Appalachia. Oh, uh, severe diseases. That's cut the cords. great. First interview with another survivor, Kesha McDermott. Go and just take that. Okay, boil water. You got it. Is that in there or outside? I think it's outside. Okay. Why not do it all when we have it all, you know, huh? Bud leaf tea, huh? Hmm. Actually, I don't think I can plant split beans, so... I'll just make some soup out of them! I leveled up. I leveled up. Got an unopened perk pack. Yes, I'd like to open that. Thank you. What do we get? <sighs> Fucking feral ghoul attacking me. That's what we got. Get out of here, you piece of shit. Okay. Now then, back to this. Before we do that, let me just uh, apply these oh, man, things here. Here we go. We have hacking now! Yeah! What perk do I want? I guess we'll just keep going endurance. No point not to, right? Volunteer status. Look for Dilbert Winters in his home. I don't think I've gone upstairs yet, have I? Oh, I got a survivor story. It, uh, didn't play. I can make a chemistry workbench now! Uh oh I've already been in his house. Yeah, he did. Get on this terminal. Uh, volunteer training? Get some meat. Toss it on a fire until it stops oozing. I think the only thing I need here is the, uh, the meat from a Brahmin, so... This fine one is still alive, so I can kill it, I guess. Hey! Brahmin! If 
fucking run it from me, huh? All right. Make some mistakes. Perfect. Check in with the self-serve kiosk. Of course. All right. Can we training? Connect to the responders database. Already grabbed that, right? Yeah, I did okay. Do -do 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 -do. Log in. As a volunteer. Emergency. Contact Responders HQ. Urgent message. A horde of Scorch is on the move and might be headed for the main base at Morgantown Airport. All personnel requested to report to HQ as soon as possible. Bring weapons and medical supplies. Maria Chavez. Mr. Terminated. Okay. Okay. Let's get the airport. Hey, robot, have you uh, stocked back up on caps? You have. Excellent. That means I can sell you some shit I don't want. Get some buff tats. Honestly, I just need caps at this point in time. So let's just search by uh, yeah, stuff. Keeping Psycho, because Psycho is my drug of choice. Mm, mine recon, huh? Okay. Thank you. Wait, what reward? Oh, is that just for a quest completion? It's cool. I'm leveled up too. Excellent. How about now? Perception? Yes! Lock picking! A must have for any uh, <clears throat> exploring vault dweller, don't you know? Okay. Anyway, at this point, uh, we got some plans for hunting rifle and Tinker's Bench. Excellent. Alright. Let me. I need to eat and drink some stuff, so let's go ahead and. Uh, are taking some soup. Iguana on a steep. And some split bean soup. There we go. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so my current goal is. That's an event. That's an event. It's up there? The Norton Town Airport? Huh. Weird. It's all the way up there, huh? What level am I, by the way? Fuck, I'm level 5. Oh, that's fine and dandy. I guess let's explore around this area a little bit more. Kind of see what we, uh... What we can do. What the fuck are these? Snap tails? I'll take them. Don't know what I can use them for yet, but I'll take them. Alert! Possible source of compost. Alert! Possible source of I ain't compost, you son of a bitch! Oops, I threw a fucking knife at it. I didn't mean to do that. I, I wish you forget that you, like, don't need to hold down alt to throw stuff. You just need to, like, tap it to do your, uh, power attack. So I always, like... Go overboard and like. Fuck shit. Give me fire over there. Who the fuck are y'all firing at? 
Or I guess who's firing the gun, first of all? My question. A farmhand there, but what's he firing at, or who's firing at him? Hmm. Random shit here. Oh fuck, that's a lot of farm hands. I think they found me. What, you're still alive? Man, fuck off. There we go. Okay, that should be all of them now. Vault Tech Agricultural Research Center. Huh. No wonder the Mr. Handies are freaking the fuck out. It's Vault Tech related. Of course it is. Mm, yeah, there we go. Ah. I was hoping for more, uh. things. Oh, they were fighting ghouls. You know they were fighting? Come on. Load my loot. Or not, I guess. Fine, too. Ah, of course. I need level two for that now, huh? Let's see how it is. Raw fertilizer. Another supply drop over there. I'll be back. It is, what the hell? I mean, whatever, I'll take it. I don't know how I missed him, but okay. This is us again? What the fuck? There we go. Ah, sprayed his ass everywhere. Alright. Like a dry riverbed almost right here. A technical calibrated pipe pistol. Interesting. Where'd the other one die at? Right here? Yeah. Yeah, it was a dry riverbed. Because this is a, uh, a boat. If you couldn't tell. Okay. Yeah, we'll go down that... What is that? Hold on. I think I can take that place over. We'll see. Hmm. I wonder if I can get up there. Wait, I'm in an event? Oh. Uh. Kill farmhand supervisors, I guess. Shit. Fuck. Well, that sucks. Ow! You dick! You can just come in here and hit me in the back, huh? Is that what you think? What else we got in here? Anything? Blood bug meat? I don't know why that's in there, but okay. Hey, feral ghoul trapped in a, uh, wall. What are you doing? Leave all that shit there. More feral ghouls, some scorched. An open-ass door. Alright, supervisor killed his ass pretty quick. I do say so myself. Well, these don't give me radiation? Wow. Wow, that's a ripoff. Rigged. Any other players coming down here? Yeah, one guy is. What's 
Let's go ahead and kill the rest of these uh, farmhands complete this event. Is that an explosive crate? It is. I don't know why there's an explosive crate in a uh, farm area, but whatever works, man. Make that two explosive crates. Ow. I'm always used to like jumping to stop running in Fallout 4, but now it like drains your AP. So, like you might as well just press S to do it rather than uh, jump. That guy's not actually having issues killing that farmhand, is he? Yeehaw! You right, dude? Hey, Red Rocket Station. Nice. Ooh, my stash! Go ahead and throw my junk in there. Okay. Take out the last one. Who called down these airdrops? The hammer the way there? Yeah, that's him. I live on fire. Here we go. It's all the farmhand supervisors. Next part of the thing. Let's go. Yeah, boy. All right. Change farmhand perimeters, huh? Because we gotta go in there to do that. It's fine. Let's go. That was a weird fruit I never saw before. Not just muty fruit. Muty, muty fruit, whatever the hell it is. But we got some people converging on that. The nice thing is, if you're in the event area, you get the experience for it, regardless, so... Nice dress, man. Goddamn. Very nice dress. Alright. Let's take a look here, shall we? Oh, there's hell going on in here. Yeah. Are players in here shooting, or is that just like... Oh, hi. Okay, wow. Stop missing, first of all. Wow, fuck you guys. I'm hiding here. <laughs> Screw you guys. Oh fuck! They really uh, decided to come in force. Come on! Oh, I'm out of AP to do power attacks. Never mind. Oh hey, how you doing? Damn. I thought it was going to be a fucking great, like, knife kill, but... Nah. So... Play that.
Ugh. Hollow Top's not playing. Uh, hollow. Um. Which one did I just pick up? This one. Overseers. Let's call these personal journals. Not an official law, just. I'm gonna just close that. Something for me. The Agricultural Center. One of my first posts with Vault. I was so excited because I used to come to this same farm when I was a kid. <sighs> I remember one year at the Autumn Festival. Me running through the corn maze. Going every which way. Mom and Dad yelling after me to slow down. <laughs> Wasn't gonna happen. I guess I was always hitting my fast. Couldn't just be a pioneer scout. I had to make troop leader. Couldn't just be a good student. I had to have straight A's. God, I miss those early days. Just being a kid. The three of us, our simple life. Our simple house. I wonder if it's still stuck. Bye, normal axe. Hello, fire axe. That was a medical liquid nitrogen dispenser. A couple of them, actually. We got some cement. I'll take that. And some raw fertilizer. The damn folder! That's an exit. Yeah, I don't want to go out there. Not yet. I guess no one else is interested in this quest. I don't know why they're not in here. Unless I'm in the wrong place, which could be a uh, very possible outcome. Maybe the farmhand perimeters aren't here. Ooh, plus 20 caps? Fuck yeah, I'll take it. I didn't get anything in there? Nope, that's just an empty case. That's not empty, though. Note to Marge. I uh, don't think I'm a coward. I'm using what God gave me to help in the only way I can. Agricultural Center is a chance to feed all the people. I'll get it done. I'm close to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found this terminal. Okay. It's nice at home, but uh, anything important in here? No. Okay. Any uh. Cabinets? Nope. Okay. Next office, then. Nothing there. Alright, what well, the, uh, the end here? Just an exit out there. So I guess we want to go down, then. Basement? Hello. I got an axe! Don't tempt me. Mac. Oh, we need you the scorched we're seeing uh, the scorched we're seeing over by Tilly's farm. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, Agricultural Center mainframe? Um, admin override core farmhand settings. Change farmhand targeting parameters? Oh. Hmm. Remove human class from targeting list. Why don't I just take damage? Hmm. Item reward. Excellent. Plan. Strengthened. What was that? Strengthened leather armor limbs. Nice. I can upgrade my armor now. So I decided to settle down and do that. 
Is it the giant teapot? Oh. Um, ooh, what do we got? Oh, wooden crate. Just a glowing wooden crate with nothing in it. Damn. Got some baseball grenades, though. That's a thing. I'll take your skull. Thanks. Metal bucket? Yeah. Metal bucket. Compost deposit terminal. Um, supervisor assignments. Previous cycle logs. Uh, wait, what? Supplement. Tool material. Ammo. Bobby pins. Fragmentation grenade. Huh. Okay. Deal from requires terminal. Hmm. Do I have to do something to trigger that or? Wood right arm. Excellent, something I can scrap. Avoid having wood when I have leather, right? That was just water. Toxic water. If it's toxic, why am I not taking radiation damage, goddammit? I don't know what you want from me. Alright, guess we're leaving this area. Well, that is that, I guess. And the event's done, right? Yeah. Just a bunch of newbies in that person. In, uh, in town, just messing around, I guess. Well, there's another mm. event down there. Project Beanstalk. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, I got an axe. I say we chop it the fuck down, huh? <laughs> I tried to make a joke. See, what was really cool is it uses, like, your pictures um, to, like, pop up backgrounds. Actually, I'm pretty sure I could, like, put a freaking image file in where they save these images to, and it would just like cycle through it as well. I could do that if I wanted to, for like a sexy anime girl or something like that as one of the backgrounds. I could do it. Wouldn't be hard. I did change the targeting parameters. Why are they, uh,. I'm still a little upset at me. What's that marker down south? Oh, visit the giant teapot. Gotcha. Totally fucking missed that. Actually, maybe they're still red, but, like, they're not hostile, right? Yeah, they're still red, but I can still, like, fuck them up. But they just don't care, because I'm a human now. What's up? Three kills! Three experience! Okay, got the aluminum from that. Excellent, excellent. A little deflated boat here. Ooh! A little loose stash. Well, I'll be damned. It's like a weird water texture here, doesn't it? Here, I'm taking radiation damage now, too. Yeah, it is. Alright. <clears throat> well, I guess, uh. Hmm. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Farmhand. Goodbye! How much experience am I from leveling up? I guess it doesn't say right there. I'd have to, like, look, uh, somewhere else, but whatever. Eh. 
Anyhow's. So, we have the teapot down there. We have this event over here. We also have this area I want to check out anyway. And there's the uh, next journal in Sutton and that area up there we can go to. But, uh, I say we go over here and help these farmhands kill that ghoul because they apparently can't kill it. We get some experience while we're at it. Shame I can't loot things that uh, other things kill. I actually have to get a shot on or something, I guess. We already got that. I have to be able to get up there, right? Oh, pickaxe, I'll take that. I gotta be able to get on top of that. It looks like I need to walk up there, right? Hey! How dare you interrupt my attack, you punk ass motherfucker. Rude. Bowie knife. Weird that you were attacking with a lead pipe, but I got a bowie knife from you, but you know what? It just works. Oh, fuck me. Okay. So, some of you might be thinking, why don't you get rid of your fucking radiation? Well, if I get rid of my radiation, I can't mutate. And I really want to mutate. So I can get, like, uh, interesting mutations. And I need radiation to do that, so we're not, you know, getting rid of it. I fucking see you there. I see you there, too. I didn't see you, actually, but, uh... Okay, I saw grass. I saw grass the first time, I'll be real honest. That was not what I wanted to shoot. Did he just fall down, or...? Hmm. Kill some ferals! Ah, fuck, I fell. Damn it. Let's go! Ah, ah, I'm lost, oh god. Okay, perfect. Everyone wins. This is a trap. I don't like where that's sitting. It's weird. Oh, hold up. There we go. I think someone placed that down. You dare? You dare attack me? Suck you, bitch. Come on. Fight me. Let's go. Let's go, fuckers. Come on. Keep getting that radiation up. Let's go. Who else? You? I see you there. I see a light there, too. Let's go. Did you run? Ooh, a U.S. supply um, drop thing. Yeah, cool. Ow. Yeah. I totally purposely walked right over that, too. Oh, what? I got fuck. God damn it. I have bone worms. God damn it. I guess walking over that thing gave me a disease. Or maybe one of the ghouls was fucking diseased. Fuck me up. I don't know. I, regardless, it was not fucking cool. Whatever gave me a disease. I don't like that. That's not the kind of shit I play, y'all. Uh, let's see, what time is it? Is it about 1 o'clock? 1 a.m., I should say. I'm curious, because I think I can take this place over. I can. I can get packaged food, junk, concrete, water, fertilizer, and aluminum if I take it over. Hmm. But if I take it over and leave, I no longer have it. And anything I build, I no longer have. Like, so I waste materials. Basically, I'm not going to be here for a while. So, uh, I learned that the hard way. Kinda sucks, but, you know, whatever happens, happens. Are these just bunkhouses? Yeah. Don't think there's gonna be... Actually, no, these are life. Uh, not fucking life. Um, these are 
livestock pens is what I wanted to say. Oh, you're the leader here, huh, ghoul? Well, you're dead now. I was expecting more on him, but whatever. Okay, cool. So I can take this place over if I want to, and it uh, looks like I can... Yeah, so these little deposits here, you can actually get like a machine if you take this place over. I just need a power for like, I think it's like 10 power. Um, and it'll just like crank out like every hour a bunch of phosphate or other you know, materials. Whatever the thing is. So like if there's an iron deposit somewhere, which I think there is, um, you'll be able to get iron from it. Fuck! How did I miss? Goddamn ghouls and their fucking unpredictable patterns of movement. That's a very decent bridge. It's adequate, I would say. Yeah, like right here, I can get like junk. Hey, hag, fuck! Yeah, so if I like go up to this pile, this barrel here, I can harvest just random junk from it. And like if I put a machine here to harvest the junk, it'll just give me random junk um, throughout the uh, the process of it doing stuff. So that's. Kind of neat, I guess. Like, if you need, like, adhesive or something, you can, like, you know, get stuff there, but... So, let's see. Ooh, a plan for dressers? I'll take that. Yeah, I can claim this if I wanted to by just, like, touching it. And then I gotta, like, defend it against uh, a wave of enemies. And it'll be mine, and I can, like, you know, build on it. But if I build on it, the thing is... Like I said before, I don't keep my stuff here if I log out and log back in. Because it won't necessarily be the same server. Which is unfortunate. So it's kind of like pointless to even take these over. There is one that's kind of worth taking over. And it's a uh, power plant. That actually gives you like, I think it's like three fusion cores per hour if you maintain like a hundred power to this fusion core generator. Which, uh... I could not get to 100 power because I did not have good supplies to do that with, so. Fuck, I'm overweight. Can I really, I really can't pick that up? Okay. I fuck the canned dog food. Damn, getting overweight here, I know, but you know what? That's fine. Okay. I can just go out on the roof, I guess. Okay. Whatever works. You're suffering from bone worms. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Don't repair that. No. Food packing factory. I guess that's... Wait. Oh. Because I can use this. I just need to power it, and then it'll start making food for me. Okay. I guess it would dump in here. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, uh, what's on this side? I don't think I went this side, right? Oh, a safe! And a duffel bag! Hell yeah! What? The safe's empty? Wow, I feel robbed. Okay. Well, whoever had this place before me did a really shit job of, uh, you know, putting down workbenches that you can use here. Also, once you take it over, you can't really scrap too much, which is unfortunate. Like, you can scrap some things, like, uh, I think you can probably scrap that front of the truck out there. You can't scrap the back of it. You can't scrap little things like this or these, which is unfortunate. Um, I think what we'll do is we will, uh... A little bit north here, so we can go kind of towards where that government uh, uh, supply drop area is at. And then what I'll do is I'll just uh, set up a camp, and we'll end there for now. Yeah, I think that'll be the plan. And then I'll just do some uh, some building off uh, off recording and kind of go from there. 
So the... Oh, I want to go kind of east-ish, huh? Oh, that was still on. Oops. So you can't build with your camp, like, in places. You have to, like, go a little bit out. I don't know why my fucking character was just grunting all of a sudden, but he needs to knock it off. Alright, anyway, let's, um... Eat and drink a little bit here, shall we? Still have some split bean soup, right? Spoiled vegetables. Socks? Yeah, there we go. Split bean soup. Cool. Um, some purified water. Some mutt chops. There we go. I just wanted to get my health back up. What do you mean? Uh, did I fucking, like... Go up a hill too steeply or something? <laughs> or is that just me grunting because of bone worms? I mean, granted, if I had something called bone worms, I'd fucking be grunting a lot too. But Jesus Christ, my dude. Calm it down. You know what? I think building over a river could be kind of cool. And I'm just looking for a place that is nice, nice and like uh, flat, relatively. That I can kind of set up on. Also, I'm overweight, so, like, my AP drains and I gotta, like, slow to a crawl whenever it happens. Which sucks. Total donkey dick. Yeah, I'm just looking for anywhere cool to kind of set up camp. Maybe at the top of this mountainous thing. We could, uh, do that. We'll see. I don't know. If I can find out how to get up to the top top. There we go, jumping again. That tree should not be there. Here we go. We can kind of get a nice vantage point up here or something, I don't know. And before, it's not like a flat surface I can build up. Okay, so right here would be nice. Right there on that rock. Potentially build one there. Kind of sparkly down there, don't you think? Yeah, right here wouldn't be too bad. What the fuck is that? Is that the water? Okay. Whatever works. Yeah. I think right here would be a very nice spot. Um, maybe even at the top top? I don't know. We'll see. Like, just on the rock seems like a nice place I could have overlooking that valley. But... Yeah, this is not so flat. I think I like on the rock better. And then I... Ooh! Can I get this? Nope. Okay, it's not an actual ore. Sometimes you find ore on, like, uh, on the sides of rock faces and stuff, so... Kind of had, like, a weird coloring to it, so I thought maybe, but apparently not. Okay, anyway. So to set down your camp, basically you uh, go into your inventory and press Z to move camp. And you can kind of um, adjust where it's at. So I'm going to adjust it so the rock face here is mostly in like right there we'll do perfectly so that way i have an area back up there and i have you know most of the rock taken care of as well not like people can you know get up here from down there but uh yeah anyway and then it's like a normal uh, a normal place in fallout 4 where you just hold v and you can go into your flooring and all this other stuff so a little bit different crafting, whereas uh, it's kind of like all at the top now. And, uh, yeah, so. You have your normal foundations, which are uh, wooden foundations, or you have your concrete, which uh, we only have. We're going to place two concrete, so what we're going to do is we're going to place normal wood down here. So. Let's go ahead and place one right there. Then let's go there as well. Go ahead and jump up here, because I think I, what I want to do is just have this, like, be a little porch. Kind of right this this little one here. And we'll do that, and we'll do that, 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 and that. There we go. Okay, excellent. So that's going to be my uh, my house for now. I'm going to put another little uh, one right... Uh, let's go right here. Kind of make it a little off-centered. Yeah, okay. 
So that is care of the flooring. Let's go ahead and grab some walls now. Okay. So, a couple different walls we can use. We can use these, which I'm going to use for my door here. I'm going to go to the other side here and put one there. There's also some windows that you can't really see through, but uh, I'm going to put one there anyway. And that's just a matter of uh, packing up the rest of the stuff. There we go, there we go. Okay. So one thing I did not realize before um, when I was building, it took me a little while. <clears throat> when you're trying to make a second floor, you actually have to build stairs first. So if you build your stairs, you can then build a floor going off of the stairs. But if you just try to build like a, a second floor here, it doesn't snap on. You actually have to build the stairs first to snap it on to the, uh, the uh, second floor there. It's kind of weird. I guess they don't want you to just build, like, higher tier areas and then just delete stuff so you can't get to it, I guess. That'd be my guess anyway. Okay, roofs. We're just gonna go with some simple, good old flat roof. We're not looking for anything fancy. We're just looking for a place to hang our head and uh, kinda make do. Okay, doors, we have some doors here. I don't think I have anything fancy. Most of the stuff's locked, so I have, yeah, literally one door. Okay. There we go. Um, we are crafting, so we have this little thing. Damn it. There we go. Okay, so we can build our uh, food one there. We have our armor workbench, which we can place over in this corner. Oh no, I need more aluminum for my fucking... Damn. Okay. We got our... Chemistry workbench. I'll set in this corner. Can't build a tinker. I'm out of fucking aluminum. God damn. Well, ain't that a bitch and shame, huh? Alright, uh... Defenses. I don't care too much about. Yeah, so... You start out not knowing how to do much of this stuff. Um, you'll have to learn either plans for it or uh, like home defense and science, for example, for these. You need to know. And uh, for these, you need to know like fireproof or home defense and science and all that stuff. And what else? So you start out with some uh, rattly boys, some spiky boys, and some normal turrets. So I think these turrets can only fire uh, one direction. They're not actually uh, 360, it's like 180 or something like that. But yeah, so let's go ahead and... We'll just build a small generator over here. And yeah, we can get some lights on in this bitch. Right there, okay. If you want to build too many, um, then of course we have to have... A... Cable going between them. That way we have a uh, power going to it, I guess. <laughs> That's weird. Alright, lights. Out of copper now, damn. I guess I can just put a campfire down. Fuck, I thought I had more resources than this. Shit, never mind. I'm out of that. I'm out of that. That doesn't do anything. This is all just... Bullshit, so. Alright, well, we got a bed off the ground. That's all you can really ask for at this point. Let's go ahead and put that baby down here. We got some weak ass chairs, and we got the stash box. So, the stash box we'll go ahead and put at the foot of our bed here. We got some floor decor and all that nonsense. We got a. Oh, we got a cardboard cutout pointing, pointing the way. Pelvic thrust. Yeah. A lot of stuff you can get. You have to learn plans for most of the stuff you want, so... That's always fun and dandy. You have some minor shelves. You got some tables here. And some paintings. Some minor paintings and whatnot. You got some wind chimes, which... I can't figure out how the fuck these work. Like... It intersects with the floating item. Well, no shit! How do I fucking hang it? Like, it just doesn't work. 
Like, I can, I think I put it on the roof or some shit like that. I don't know where it goes. It's weird. What is this? An alarm clock? Yes. I wonder if it actually tells the real time. Kind of interesting, wouldn't it? The miscellaneous structures, which are like an outhouse or like a baseball thing or some tents and all that. Or this, the contamination arch. But uh, yeah, I think that'll be uh, pretty much all for now. Um, I'm just going to dump some stuff off. So I can, you know, move a little bit more freely. And I can also open my fucking doors. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to grab the uh, defenses. So defenses are... Basically, I can put these, like, on the side of this, actually. Right? Yeah? I'll be able to put that there and put that there. Excellent. That way I have some, like, you know, sides on it and whatnot. That's cool. Good shit. Right. I don't like that I can't put one across the fucking middle here, though, goddammit. The hell? Can I just set you there for a moment? Can I, can I... If I'm here, can I snap it on this? No? Why can't I snap it onto this? I don't get it. Does it have to be, like, completely away from it? Seems odd. I can put that there, but I mean, I can't put one. Oh, I can put one here. I guess do that. No. What do I mean intersects with an existing item? It's literally green. Wow. Fuck off. Get out of here with that nonsense. How about now? Can I put it now? No. Man, get the fuck out of here. It'd be nice if I could fucking put this down, but I don't have the fucking option to. Ah, nuts. Nope, I guess we can just have a fucking suicide leap off the thing there. Anyway, we can also lock our doors. So, depending upon how tough you want the lock to be, um, you can set it up to, you know, have a various thing. I mean, the most expensive is, you know, two gears, one screw, two springs, and some steel. Um, the cheapest is a zero lock, which anyone get it into, they just have to pick it, which is, you know, one spring and two steel, so. I, mean, I don't see the point in locking my doors, because nothing in here can be stolen. I mean, my stash box, it's literally uh, unstealable. That's fine and dandy, but uh, yeah. I guess I want to do one more thing here. I need some stairs. Bruh! Bruh! Killing me. You're- you're killing me! What do you mean? There's no exist- oh god, I guess these? I can't fucking put it there because of those? That's not what I wanted, okay. Whatever, fine. Anyway, and that's my house now. So... Yeah. I'm going to just fucking close these doors then. Okay, so let's go into the stash box here real quick. I think the only thing I have is like, uh, I got a frag grenade, I guess. Give me that. I got some alcohol to sell, gunpowder, and junk. I'm gonna just take all this real quick, because I think there's some stuff in here that I haven't actually, uh, scrapped. I'm uh, spam tapping on E and enter, just so it uh, grabs everything. Yeah, as you can see on the bottom right side of the uh, stash box there, um, it has a limit of 400 weight. So if you're over 400 pounds in your stash box, or you, you can't be over, it literally prevents you from it. So right now I have 224 pounds on my body right now. If we scrap everything, we get down to 188. Which means we freed up a shit ton of space in our stash box. So, basically, anytime you go to, like, put stuff in your stash box, make sure you break your stuff down first that you don't want. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad time. So, yeah, well, I'm gonna, uh, end things here for now, I guess. Oh, I can open these shutters? Oh my god! I didn't know I could do that! Oh, shit. I've been thinking that the fucking... 
Oh my god. I thought they were, like, not openable. Damn, I would have just put a fucking other window back here then. Damn. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna break down some stuff. Um, build some stuff if I need to. And then, uh, I, I, I'll hop off for now. So, I'm not gonna do anything too important this next little bit here. So, we'll start recording when we, uh, come back. And I guess we'll, since we're nearby, look at that. Oh, that guy's wanted. That's not good. I could go down there and claim ten caps from him, but... I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'll pass. Yeah. I'll pass for now. Ten caps isn't really worth it, in my opinion. Kind of a waste of ammo, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, we'll end things for here, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.